Hey everyone, Corey here, and hopefully the audio is perfect. I did have to turn off the mic, and I'm sorry for that on the last video. I'm going to show you guys how to make a display picture for YouTube. Uh, this would actually work for other things, but mainly the most things people use on is YouTube. So what you want to do is, and we're going to make something kind of like this. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do it. You can make it with a picture, make it with just plain colors, whatever. And I'm just going to show you how I do this one. Uh, so what you want to do is hit File, New, and make it 500 width pixels by 500 height pixels. You can make it smaller, but the smaller you make it, it might make it a little crisp, crisper, but it's harder to work with. So I just make it really big, uh, 500, 500, perfect square. Resolution 72, color mode, RGB color, 8-bit. And then you can make the background contents, we'll just make it transparent, doesn't really matter. Right here, so we're going to have this. Now, what you want to do is, if you click in the sidebar, you can get this picture if you want this picture. Uh, don't really need to. Again, go to wall.alphacoders.com. The link will be in the sidebar. There's a lot of different pictures here. As you can see, a lot of different stuff. And this is just something I saw, and I kind of liked it. So I'm going to drop it in here. And as you can see, it's really big. So what I'm going to do is hit Control minus sign a couple times. Zoom out, hit Control T, and then just line it up. Well, not line it, but uh, shrink it down to uh, the size of 500 by 500. And hit this, and then hit apply, and then control plus sign to make it big. Or you could just zoom in and out with the magnifying glass. Now, what I also like to do first before I do any other editing is put in my text. So I'm just going to do Corey because that's my name. And I'm actually going to make it capitalized. There we go. Right there. Now, as you can see, you kind of want the center. You don't want it like that. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that's obvious that that sucks. But you don't want it like that. So the cool, the easiest way to do that is click the picture. Now, if the picture is not, like, if the picture is really big, if you didn't zoom it down, make sure you do not click the picture. Make sure you click the size, okay? But since I didn't uh, make the picture the same size, I'm going to click that. Oops. Click that. We're going to hit uh, Control right here, and that will actually highlight it. Or you can select it like this with this thing which I don't know why you do that or you could just hit control a whichever whichever is easier for you then what you want to do is make sure you're on the arrow and select select on the text right here control Z as you can see I didn't do that right make sure you're on this right here then hit control a and then select the text and then hit this arrow thing and then you can hit this button right here this will align vertical and this one right here will align horizontal so it will center it in easy words it will center it so next we're going to unselect that now we're going to take the, take the text and we're going to show you how to make it 3D make sure the arrow is your pointer or whatever you want to call it selected what you want to do then is hit all up and right at the same time you can do that once for a little bit uh, twice three times. I'm actually going to do it until I guess 10. Yeah, 10 is fine. Then what you want to do is make sure the first one selected, number 10, and then select the whole, and then hit shift, select the whole way down to Corey Copy or whatever your text is, and then hit control E. Now you can change this whatever color you want. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's however you want it to do. But make sure you drag the original one on top. Now what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to change this one to uh, drop shadow, stroke, actually maybe not stroke, we'll see. This is a hard, whatever you want to do, there's a lot of different ways you're going to do it, effects. And then color overlay, now I kind of like to take a color that's in the picture right here, so just a green, you can do whatever, if you want white, you want white, if you want red, you want red, whatever. It's not a big deal. But as you can see right there, it's uh, kind of 3D-ish. Uh, I do have that stroke on, so maybe I should take that off. Or just you could just add it to the other one. Or just do whatever you want first. That looks kind of good. I kind of like that. That actually looks better than the one I did the first time. Now, what you want to do is select them both. And then what I like to do is I like to duplicate my stuff. So right, du right click and then hit duplicate and then hide the stuff below. It does give you more stuff, but this way if you mess up, you don't have to start all over. I have messed up a lot of times and then I uh, had to start all over and then it doesn't look like I had it the first time. 
Then after you do that, you want to hit Control E, make sure the Quarry Copy and the Quarry Copy 11 or whatever it will be, the stuff you just duplicated, make sure that's selected and then hit Control E and that will uh, merge them together. Now if you were to do that and you were to mess up, then you would have to go back, do the Quarry, do the Copy and all that stuff. Now what I like then, then what I like to do is select that, hit right click again and duplicate. Hit OK and then hit Control T. What this is going to do is give like a transform. Then we're going to right click it and click flip vertical. Then hit the arrow and hit apply. Now you can drag it down or you can use your arrow keys. Uh, my computer is actually really slow for the arrow keys. I'm not sure why. So uh, instead of making you wait for 10 hours for me to get to the bottom of it, I'm just going to drag it down and it should click. Um, let's see if it does it. See, it like clicks. Clicks in position. That's how you know you're aligned. It does click. If it doesn't click, something might be wrong, but it usually like clicks into a uh, position. Then you can move it up uh, if you want it on the bottom of your words like that. I don't really like it. I kind of like a little gap, especially with the drop shadow. So that looks kind of good. Now what we're going to do is, usually I will change my trans, uh, my transparency, I mean the opacity right here. I change that to 10 usually, but I realize that when I make a display picture since it's shrunk, shrunken, shrinken, yeah shrunken, since it's smaller, it uh, doesn't look as noticeable and it's kind of a waste of work. So what I like to do is I like to delete it all and make it a 25%. And there you can actually still see it. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to want to select them both again and uh, duplicate them again. That way you don't mess up. All right, And then just hide the stuff that you just did. There we go. And then Control E and there you go. Now, what I like to do is I like to give it a little trans, a uh, little like 3D kind of look. So go to Edit Transform Perspective, and then you can get like this box around it. If you drag the left up, you can drag the left up as much as you want. Don't do too much. Looks kind of bad. And then you can drag the right down a little. Yeah, whatever. That looks okay. Not the best, but hey, it doesn't have to be perfect. And there, it's kind of like a 3D kind of look. And uh, it has like a 3D reflection. Some people add shadows. I don't. Um, I don't know why. But I guess if you wanted to add a shadow, uh, get like an elliptical, drag it like this, however you want the shadow to be, and then fill it in with black. Oops. Fill it in with black somehow. I'm not even sure how you're supposed to fill that in with black. I guess if you'd have to do it without the picture. I'm not sure. That's why I don't do it. <laughs> you can look online and see how to do the shadow. But I don't think the shadow is needed. I mean, you can see the reflection. It's whatever. But you guys can uh, mess with it yourself. Try different things and all that. Now, for the last thing, there's a lot of ways uh, people do the little elliptical thing. You want to make a new layer right here. Create new layer. Click it. Now, what you want to do is uh, you could either zoom out some too much but whatever zoom out some go over to the side and then make a circle like this and uh fill it in with white white and then fill it in right here and then lower the transparency to 10. now you get a little let's see if you can see this you get a little as you can see oh, too much as you can see it has like a little brightness but i don't like that uh if you ever see um, now on YouTube the elliptical thing is different, but I don't like to do that. I found uh, how they do it on Xbox, and uh, that's how I like the elliptical. So deselect all that, Control Z, Control Z, whatever, or you can just not do that. What I like to do is I like to fill in the whole picture with white, then take the elliptical tool, and then, or I think it's called elliptical. Yeah, elliptical marquee tool, whatever, not a big deal. And then what I like to do is drag it from the left and then drag it like this so it's kind of like a circle and it goes off towards the, the end. Like right here, as you can see, it uh, goes flat here, not like a round and then it's rounded like that. And then I just like hit delete and then change the transparency to 10 and you get it. But if you're doing that, make sure, uh, now you don't have to do it depending on what your picture is, make sure that it's a, that it goes over... Oops. Make sure that it goes over at least a little bit of the words. That may be a little too much down. Just work with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, that's way too much down. Uh, the further you go left, 
the shorter it'll be and all that stuff. So, so you can see that's a little too high. Third time, fourth time, whatever. We'll just go like this. There you go. And then change the transparency to 10. And then it gives it that little like glossy look. So uh, there you go. Now to save it, just go to File, Save As. Make sure it's a JPEG. We'll go uh, My Display. My Display. Display. Pick. And then you can crank it up the whole way, but make sure it's under 256. And then you can upload it to YouTube. So hopefully this was a helpful tutorial. Again, you can do it a lot of different ways millions but always remember 500 by 500 and uh, if you want to do the glossy look and then the rest can be up to you so hopefully you like this tutorial and uh, take care